There it is. Well, let's see. Then what can you tell me? There are always traces everywhere. Initially, I can't see anything. Not even any oil or grease. Nothing at all. Not even Swarf. <sighs> no residue at all. That's impossible. cleaning systems for the industry. It is important that parts are sorted and then cleaned specifically in order to wash off any residual dirt and contamination on these parts. But how, may I ask, does that work? And then there is a combination of chemicals, system technology, time, and temperature. And if all of this is put together in the right way, the system technology can be configured for this specific part which will result in good cleaning results. Naturally, many think of this the wrong way by comparing the system to their washing machine or dishwasher at home. But those standard products are designed for our clothes or our pots and plates. We don't do anything as a standard. That means that a customer has a specific component and we build a cleaning system that is specially tailored to this application. So we look at the customer's production flow and which interfaces they have. Each of these components has a different program which we have to manage so we can integrate that into our machines. The customer sends us parts beforehand so we can adapt the machines perfectly to that. The specific nozzles are aligned in the cleaning chambers in such a way that the component comes out perfectly clean in the end. After all, our objective is not just to supply a cleaning system that sprays a bit of water around, but the idea is rather to incorporate the entire cleaning process. So we're not only looking at how to accelerate the water towards the component, but also at how to check if the process is working properly. This is where sensors, the control system, and automation come into play again, and the software which links all this in an intelligent way. So that in the end, for the user, this actually means that they load a component, press a button, and it comes out clean at the other end. But they should not have to worry about how and why it all works. That is what makes it an automation system. Product control is one of our latest sensor developments. It is a camera system which basically just photographs the components to start with, giving us the opportunity to identify faults on the components. We can then teach the system how the component should look. For complex linked production systems in particular, it is a good idea to then go back to the shop floor at the factory and keep working with the people who are building this system, instead of just communicating with them through drawings. You could compare it to a hairdresser. No two heads are the same. You can't give every head the same haircut. The same applies to components. Each component has different holes, different threads in different places, and customers have different requirements for different areas to be clean. Yes, I like working here. Seriously, I really love it here. My colleagues always manage to make me smile. All departments have to work together and exchange information. We do not have standard protection where the same tasks are repeated all the time. Yes, when one of these machines is finished, then we can be a little bit proud of ourselves and deliver a product that the customer can use to earn money. And that requires work. You have to look after a brand and keep expanding it. And we do that consistently. Oh great, I guess I could have spent forever looking. 